Ah, good morning, miss. How are you holding up? You've been better? Yeah, I understand. Sorry to interrupt your sleep, but I need to go over our case before you go before the judge today. Okay, so as we discussed yesterday, your charges include embezzlement, receiving and selling stolen goods, and credit card fraud. We've decided not to contest these claims, but... But... Also, not plead guilty to anything until you've helped the police with their pursuit of a white-collar crime circle, one of whom is in charge of impi- Uh, the company you used to work for. Ah, uh, sorry, that's not really better, is it? A anyway, Officers O'Lantern and Love have promised they'll work to get you a lighter or suspended sentence in exchange. Sadly, dropping the charges altogether is practically impossible just for the optics. Anyway, I- I think you'll agree the situation is not as bad as it could be. Thanks to your lack of previous convictions, lack of a job, obvious remorse, and the fact you have a daughter who still needs her mom, I don't think the judge will need much persuasion to agree to the deal. The only thing that needs doing is to make it official in writing and get you released on bail. Good thing your ex-husband has agreed to... Wait, what? He's not your ex-husband? But I heard you were separate... Oh. Oh. I see. You aren't actually divorced. It's just, uh, uh, uh. Oh my gosh, I am so, so, so sorry. I really am. I must have just made a mistake in my note-taking and... Ma'am, I hate to interrupt, but we need you to come with us now. The courthouse is ready to hear your case. But wait! I haven't had enough time to go over the case with my client. I have to- <sighs> Then you should have come earlier. We rang your office at 7.30 this morning. It's now 11.30. What, did you just forget to come? I- That isn't- Traffic was bad. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it wasn't that bad. And certainly not for four goddamn hours. Well, I buy the excuse, at least. I used to come in late all the time back in police academy, so... Puppy! Look, just get up and go to your car. You can follow us to the courthouse. Okay, I'll... Ah, oh, darn it! I just folded and pocketed all those sheets. It'll take all day to fix this. <sighs> Don't be so melodramatic. I'll help you gather everything up. Puppy, go over there and cuff her. Uh, right. Miss, I'm sorry, but I need to shackle you for a transport. Turn around. Give me your hands. Okay, how are you feeling today? Yeah, I understand. Don't worry. We called your husband, and he'll be there for your arraignment. He's just hoping your bail isn't too much. Yes, your daughter will be there too. Your husband confirmed it. <sighs> okay, we're good here. Let's get her out to the car. I'll see you down there, miss. Now, when we get to the courthouse, there's going to be a waiting period. The courts try several cases a day, too many to have one per courtroom. So you'll probably be waiting about half an hour to an hour to have your case heard. Fortunately, that will give your lawyer more time to go over your defense. Also, at our discretion, we can take your cuffs off, move them in front of you, or just cuff you to one of our wrists. Just in case you need to use the bathroom, or read a book while you wait. I'd be slow to make that call, personally. 
As far as I'm concerned, you need a damn good reason to get out of those cuffs. If you need to use the bathroom, that's a good reason. If you need to throw up, that's also a good reason. There aren't many others. Uh, Jack? We're not interrogating her. You can drop the bad cop act now. <laughs> Who's acting? I'm being sensible. One of us has to be. <sighs> Almost there now. Ah, uh, hi again, miss. They didn't keep you waiting too long, did they? Well, at least there's that. So, your handcuffs are off. Hopefully they'll stay off. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so unless the judge directly asks you a question, just let me do the talking. I may not keep the best notes, but I know how to talk the talk. If, uh, that makes sense. Anyway, this won't be a long one. We're not actually at trial yet. This is just to formally let you know what you're being charged with and what your bail will be. So when we get to... Oh, yay, oh, yay. Please rise for the Honorable Judge Snapples. Well, never mind now. Just buckle in. We're going to be here for a while. You all may be seated. Okay. The next case is the municipality of Pumpkin Hollow versus Mrs. Zeta. Now, may the defendant stand and her attorney as well. Okay, now, Miss Zeta, I have been appraised of your case and have a list of charges levied against you here. You are accused of the following, embezzlement, the receipt and trade of stolen goods and credit card fraud. Embezzlement, means theft or misappropriation of funds placed in one's trust or belonging out to one's employer. In your case, it is alleged that you stole a large portion of your money from your previous employer, Impton Solutions Limited, to pay for your mother's surgery. Receipt and trade of stolen goods in this instance. It refers to an allegation that you paid for and received stolen armchairs from Joe Smith and paid them to wealthy clients. Credit card fraud refers to a fraud committed using a payment card, such as a credit card or a debit card. In this case, you used a credit card belonging to your manager to purchase accessibility services for your daughter, Grace Zeta. Miss Rhonda, do you or your client have any questions about these offenses? No, Your Honor. I understand that you have claimed that these actions were coerced or otherwise manipulated out of you by an unnamed third party. Is this correct? Yes, Your Honor. As the municipality can neither confirm nor deny the truth of this allegation, we'll set it aside for now. I also understand you have arranged a cooperation with the Pumpkin Hollow Police to assist in the capture and conviction of a group of white-collar criminals rumored to be active in the city. Officer O'Lantern, is this true? Yes, Your Honor. We spent all afternoon and half the night yesterday negotiating terms and agreements for her cooperation. Though as of now, the agreement is still words, we were assured there would be an agreement in writing once bail was posted. Officer O'Lantern, is this true? It is, Your Honor. While we believe in the defendant's guilt, we also believe convicting her without dealing with those who put her up to it would be a wasted opportunity. Officer Love and I have agreed she would be an important asset to our ongoing investigation. Officer Love, I know you've worked closely with Officer O'Lantern on this in other cases before and interacted with the defendant extensively. Do you believe she is truly remorseful for her actions and willing to follow the terms of your agreement? I do, Your Honor. When we arrested her, she cried at the thought of going to prison. When Officer O'Lantern and I were interrogating her, she broke down again when she began to realize how much damage she had caused. She made mistakes. And they were serious mistakes to be sure, but she's not a bad person. And I don't want to send her down the river without giving her a chance to make it right. Besides, she's not a very competent criminal. We found the evidence we needed to secure a warrant in about two days, and most of that was due to the paperwork. Clearly, someone put her up to this. 
and they're the real villain of the story here. Understood. And considering the charges levied against Miss Zeta, the extenuating circumstances and the endorsements of officers on Lantern and Love, the bail will be set at 5,000 pounds. Miss Rhonda, can your client post the bail? Yes, Your Honor. My client's husband has agreed to post bail on her behalf. Is Mr. Zeta in the courtroom? Yes, Your Honor. Then, this hearing is concluded. Bailiff, Officer O'Lantern, Officer Love, Miss Zeta, Miss Rhonda, you all shall remain. Everyone else, please vacate the courtroom immediately. We will begin the process of formally noting down and signing the agreement you made. It must be made conjunct and legally verified, so it is both enforceable and to qualify as legitimate evidence to be presented at the defendant's future trials or preliminary hearings. I reserve the right to alter or veto aspects of this agreement, but for now, we begin. It is, Your Honor. While we believe in the defendant's guilt, we also believe convicting her without dealing with those who put her up to it would be a wasted opportunity. Officer Love and I have agreed she would be an important asset to our ongoing investigation. Oh my gosh. So, now that that's done and dusted, we need to see to the formalities of your deal. We'll be by your house tomorrow to install your ankle monitor. It'll keep you on our radar, literally. For today, here's a burner phone. It has no contact details other than my and puppy's work phones or phone credit. So you cannot make any calls or texts. Instead, we will contact you on it. We're the only ones who have this number. So if you get a call from another number that doesn't get recognized, don't answer us. We'll be in touch next week with the first assignment we need your help with. And while I don't like to rub salt in the wounds, I do need to remind you that after today, you need to cut all contact with your family for the duration of your cooperation with us, for their and your own safety. So I suggest you go talk to your family and have a long, honest conversation with them right now. Depending on how long the investigation goes on for, this may be the last time you see them for several months to a year. And it may also be your last time to apologize and assure them that you will make amends. I just realized, her necklace, it's so beautiful. I forgot to ask about the first time we arrested her. Where did you get it, miss? I... You... what? Jack. Jack! <sighs> Never mind. Look, don't worry about him, miss. He acts like a grumpy old goat, but he does care about seeing justice done. He and I will keep you safe and protected so you can see your family again after this. Have a good evening. Mom? Oh, Mom. I, I was so scared something was going to go wrong and you'd be sent straight to jail. Please don't scare me like that again. So you're out of the frying pan, huh? Guess all that money bought you a good lawyer, too. Thanks for paying your bail. You're welcome. But I didn't do it for you. I did it for our daughter. She was scared this was the last time we'd ever see you. Well, don't get me wrong. I'm not over you lying to us. Or that you've apparently been a criminal for several months and never told us. But you're my mother. I love you. And I owe you a lot. You always fought to make sure I was never treated any differently from any other girl despite my chair. <sighs> Look, honey, I didn't want to say this now, but... You know the lawyer you're talking to? I'm talking to one as well. 
but not for criminal defense. Yes, I'm serious. It was bad enough when I thought you were cheating on me, but this? Fuck, this is even worse. How can I ever trust you again? This is no time to pull us apart. This is the perfect time for pulling apart. Do you know what's going to happen next? Every time your daughter and I go to school or work to a social event or even just shopping, gossip will get there five hours ahead of us. We're going to be bombarded with questions about what we knew about your criminal dealings, where you are now, what the police have told us about your case. All our friends are going to start giving me this askance, pitying look, like I'm some little kid who scraped his knee. We'll be followed everywhere by rubberneckers who get their rocks off seeing people in despair. You're lucky enough to have an address most people don't know. Mine has been broadcast on the evening news. God, did you ever think while you were running around like a poor woman's Elizabeth Holmes about what the consequences of your action would be? I'm angry too, okay? I'm furious. But you're my mum and dad, yeah? I love you both. So much. It breaks my heart to see you fight. You always have. Please, just stop fighting. For today, at least. Look, Grace, I... Mum? Oh, Mum. I, I was so scared something was going to go wrong and you'd be sent straight to jail. Please don't scare me like that again. Well, don't get me wrong. I'm not over you lying to us. Or that you've apparently been a criminal for several months and never told us. But you're my mother. I love you. And I owe you a lot. You always fought to make sure I was never treated any differently from any other girl despite my chair. Dad, please! I'm angry too, okay? I'm furious. But you're my mum and dad, yeah? I love you both. So much. It breaks my heart to see you fight. You always have. Please, just stop fighting. For today, at least. Yeah, exactly. We can save the drama for another time. For today, I, I just want us to get along. Thanks, Mum. I love you too. Just stay safe and do what the police need you to do, okay? Good. Yeah, okay, Dad. Good luck, Mum. Thanks, Mum. I love you too. Just stay safe and do what the police need you to do, okay? Good. Grace, we'd better get going. Yeah, okay, Dad. Good luck, Mum. <laughs>